Max, let's take it one step further now, guys. Russell Westbrook and Katie obviously didn't hold back with their game or their mouth. Stephen A., you alluded to this, and the trash talk was loud and clear. Take a listen. It's all in the game. None is going to sleep off on the floor, man. You know, I mean, off the floor, you know. It's part of the game. I respect that. You know, we should have just kept playing. I don't even think we should have. They should have reviewed anything. It's a part of it. Hard fouls, you know, talking. All that stuff is a part of the game. That's what makes the game fun for us. Do you think it's silly that so many people care about you and KD and, and what y'all think? Yeah, I do. I do. I think it's, it doesn't make any sense. It's over with. He plays for his team. I live with my team. Let him do his thing. I do my thing. And that's it. Plain and simple. All right. Westbrook saying let bygones be bygones. It's over. But Stephen A., what did his behavior really say about him? Well, it just showed me that, you know, it stung. For Kevin Durant to leave him. And one of the things that I kept pointing out doing Sports Center all day Saturday, and I just think, listen, I, 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 you know, I know the owner of the Golden State Warriors, Joe Lacob, uh, Bob Myers, the general manager, great, great guys, first class organization. We all know Steve Kerr and the greatness that he has exhibited a, as a head coach. These are great guys who happen to respectfully disagree with me and my position on Kevin Durant, which is simple. He's the second best player on the planet. Uh, he's a great basketball ambassador. He's a great person. But the move to go to Golden State is the weakest move that I've ever seen by a superstar. And when you look at Russell Westbrook, he was clearly stung by it. But we need to understand why he's so stung. Kevin Durant leaving basically was Kevin Durant saying, I can't win with you. In other words, Russell Westbrook is who held OKC back from winning a championship. And no matter how Russell Westbrook slices it, that's how he's taking it in my estimation. You could see it on the court because, again, you leave, you don't pick up the phone to call him, you don't meet with him man-to-man -man and face-to-face -face and tell him that you're doing it. This is a guy that was supposed to be your little brother. You left him hanging to answer all the questions as to why Kevin Durant would, would leave and what do you make of it, what did you have to do with it, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Exposing Russell Westbrook unnecessarily to that level of scrutiny I would, I, you know, all of this, all of these months, these last seven months, you were just looking for an indication for him to show that it hurt. And when I saw them on the court going against each other, I really felt bad for Russell Westbrook because he played his heart out. He was a one-man army, 47 points, had absolutely positively no help whatsoever from Victor Oladipo, from, from Steven Adams, uh, you know, Morrow, any of them. Nobody stepped up to help. Russell Westbrook and for KD to leave you're basically saying hey I left you I don't believe I could win with you I'm going to a better situation and you were looking for something that said it hurt and I think that with, with, with Russell Westbrook acting the way that he did going at him the way that he did not just playing but verbally I think you saw that it, how much it has stung him all of these months every time Russell Westbrook turns the ball over because he's trying to do too much because he doesn't have, they have a decent roster, but he doesn't have enough around him. And it's not perfectly constructed either. If you have a penetrate, a penetration point guard the way Russell is, the way Russell Westbrook is, surround him with some shooters. Oladipo is a nice offensive player, but surround him with guys who can really shoot the ball. They have two, three guys in the starting lineup other than Russell Westbrook can't really shoot that well or, or aren't certainly pure shooters. So that doesn't make him look great. And so Russell Westbrook constantly has to figure out a way to try to carry his team. And every time he dishes to a guy who misses a shot or tries to do too much and turns the ball over, he's got to be fuming about Kevin Durant, particularly when they're playing the Warriors, because that's the guy who left him. This was predictable this season, this game for Russell Westbrook. He was my choice and many people's choice for preseason MVP because we knew he would fill up the stat line. And we saw in Kevin Durant's absence last year due to injury, how great Russell Westbrook really is. He is a, a, an alpha, you know, MVP caliber player who offensively can carry a team to the playoffs. But we also knew that without enough around him, he'd be trying to do too much. And there would also be like, for example, in this game, he'd fill up the stat sheet, tons of points, rebounds, assists, and turnovers in a loss to an elite team. Totally predictable, and, and, and in that kind of predictable pattern or the, the predictable outcome of Kevin Durant leaving is Russell Westbrook's hurt feelings because, Stephen A., you're exactly right. 
It frames him. You have an imperfect roster constructed around him. One guy leaving with the implicit message, can't win with this guy. And, and then with that imperfect roster and Russell Westbrook trying to do too much, he's framed. He's framed as the, as the fall guy here. Of course he's steaming about it. And in terms of his play, he's only got one speed, and that's full speed ahead. What can he do to even change that perception? Well, I'll tell you this. To, to answer the question again, what, does this be, what did his behavior say about him? It says that, you know what, this relationship is severed. You know, they're going to be on a Western Conference All-Star team together. I think you'll see more of the same. I don't think you'll see Russell Westbrook talking to him. I mean, I could be wrong because I certainly haven't talked to Russell Westbrook about it, but I got to tell you, he seems to have the kind of personality, the kind of persona. He's as real as it gets, and he is not going to, to just sit up there and capitulate to the moment, the media, or whatever the case may be. I don't think he likes Kevin Durant at all after all that has transpired. I think I, I'm not going to call names or anything like that, but, uh, I mean, you look at Kevin Durant, I, I think Russell Westbrook has some very, very negative feelings about him, and you can just tell. And in the case of, Russ, uh, case of Kevin Durant, listen, he's on the best team. There's no excuse for them not to win the championship. It's not Golden State's fault for taking them. I would have taken them. Anybody would have taken Kevin Durant if he were available. But again, I'm going to repeat it. I'm going to reiterate it. As I told folks while I was in Oklahoma City, it's the weakest move that I ever saw by a superstar to literally jump on the bandwagon because they were already a well-oiled machine before he arrived. And you're going to have the Golden State Warriors trying to push for Kevin Durant to be an MVP or whatever because of his numbers, because of his efficiency, et cetera, et cetera. Here's my response to that. You take KD off of the Golden State Warriors, they probably still go to the finals. You take James Harden or Russell Westbrook off of their teams, those teams would be in the lottery. I don't want to hear about Kevin Durant in an MVP after the way, you know, he jumped on that bandwagon. It's a well-oiled machine. Golden State is vicious. They should win. No one should beat them. And he took an easy road to a championship. Russell Westbrook's going to be respected for his position, but it ain't going to help him win more games because and, he right. and the team were completely outclassed because he had no help. No help. They're, they're splitting up, which was Kevin Durant's doing, means that Durant will never get full credit for the championships, mm -hmm. and Westbrook will likely never get a championship, period. Fair enough. We shall Not see. Not in Oklahoma City. What if he leaves? But if he moves, right. yeah, then the potential would be there. Guys,